Hello friends. As you may notice from my lack of outfit change, I just filmed my supplement video and I'm trying to get this one cranked out before I leave for work, which I'm already late for. Um, and also my battery's dying, so let's, this is going to be fun. I'm going to try to make this a quick video because it could be a very long video and like I said, my battery's dead and I'm late for work, so let's do this. <laughs> So I wanted to start this thing called Congress Chronicles, and it's a really tacky name, but like, whatever. Um, and it's just going to be documenting my trip to Congress, when we're at Congress, and leading up to it and all that, um, because a lot of people have asked me for a vlog while I'm there, and I don't know how well that's going to go, but I'm going to try, and I feel like if I set this up beforehand, I'll be more likely to remember to film and all that. But let's just dive right into it. So what I have here is stuff that I've kind of slowly been collecting um, and trying in prepping for going and all that. Um, so I do have two things to unbox and a couple things to show you guys. I don't know. Let's just... <laughs> um, so my first couple things are I'm actually missing a few because I haven't gotten them yet. Um, but I got a few breeches because I have two pairs of show breeches and my other pairs I normally ride in like leggings and I don't have a lot of other schooling breeches so I went on my favorite app Tack Hunter and I got a couple um this first pair I didn't even realize that it's the same thing I have in show breeches excuse me um so I may end up using them as show breeches I don't know but they are the symphony by Treadstep and I got them in a 26, and I realized that that's my actual size, and my show breeches are a 24. Um, so I'm probably going to replace my show breeches with these. Um, but they have cute pink buttons, which normally I wouldn't want any color for the show pen, but like my belt covers it. So, And also these were intended to be uh, schooling pants. But yeah, and they have, let's see, the knee patch is like super grippy, and they have the sock bottoms with the little pink tread step thing. I don't know if you can see that, but mm, it's fine. This next pair is actually for sale again, and because I went on and I bought my actual size, because I have this thing, for some reason I'm convinced in my mind that I'm a 28, but I'm actually a 24, 26, and so I used to be a 28, but anyways, I really love these, and I hate that they're for sale again, but they are Baker breeches, they are a size 28, and they've got the pockets and the lining in here, and then the back pockets and the belt thing here. Um, they are for sale on my Tack Hunter page. I believe it's just Equestrian Bliss. If you don't see them on there anymore, um, then that means they are sold. And I'm trying not to take any inquiries through YouTube because that's going to be really hard to handle. But if you are interested, check them out on my Tack Hunter. And if they're gone, that means they're sold. I'm really upset. I really like those. This last pair is by far my favorite. These are my first pair of Pipers by Smart Pack, and I got these used off Attack Hunter, and these are navy with turquoise piping, and I'm really excited about these, and they have like the piping on the front and the belt loops and all that in the back, and they do also have the sock bottom, which I really like. Um, but the reason I'm so excited for these is because my trainer's barn colors are, well, barn color is navy, and my favorite color is turquoise, so I got the best of both worlds, and I tried them on, and it's interesting, they're a 26, which is my size, but they fit me through the leg, but they're a little big through the waist, so I just have to wear a belt with them, but I really like how they fit through the leg, so I'm excited to ride in them. Alrighty, next, now this, I, mm, this is interesting, so all of my brushes and everything, <laughs> are kind of falling apart and like they're starting to flatten out and I've had them since like Elliot's brushes anyways I've had them since I've had Elliot which is three years so I figured it's time for a new set at least for Chopin the Chopin anyways so I went on to uh, where did I get these state line tack and I got a hoof pick a brush and both of these they're a little bit different color but like it's fine um, have the teal outline with the black base and this is more of a light blue but we're just gonna pretend like it matches um, but yeah, they both have the black base, and then I got this brush, which is a lot softer than I thought it'd be, but it's fine. This is the Tough One brand, um, it's called the Velvet Brush, but it's a black base. I'm going to paint this black, and then I'm going to put Elliot's name on the back of these, and it's going to be all set. And then I have all my extra grooming supplies, like I have a curry comb, I already had a black one, so I'm just going to put that one in here with everything else. And then this I actually got at the craft store. I got this at Michael's. Um, because I really wanted that area, um, soft grooming tote, but it was like, 
I don't know, it's expensive <laughs> for a groom tote anyways. And so I went to Michael's and these were 40% off. This is like a craft storage bag. And so I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it's got like, it's got like a hard shell to it, but it's soft all around. It's got all these pockets all around it. It's got the flip top and the handle on top. So I'm probably going to put a monogram on the top of it. And that's going to be my groom tote for the show. So I'm excited that I found that and it all matches. Because we know how much I like matchy things. All right. So this next one, it was supposed to be an unboxing, but I got really excited and I unboxed it anyways. And you guys know that I like to give my honest opinion on anything and like I won't recommend it to you unless I don't actually like it. So I actually tried this out yesterday. This is to do an unbelt. I'm just going to pretend like I'm unboxing it. Um, so I really love the packaging. First of all, it's really cute. Um, it came with this note and I do have a discount code for these, which I will put in the description. Um, and what is the discount code? Do, do, do. I don't know what the discount code's actually for. Like, I don't know how much it gets you guys off. But it's a percentage off, and that always works, am I right? Anyways, and they have really cute just everything. Like, the bell came in this little thing that says change everything. I got this little package, or this little thingy madoo hicker. There we go. It's got, oh, I love these. That little stretchy hair tie says change everything. Um, buttons, oh this one, these are buttons, oh this is, it says gorgeous as per usual and it's a little mirror, how cute is that? That's perfect for the, oh I don't want to look at myself, that's perfect for shows and stuff. Um, so they are not actually an equestrian brand but they do want to reach out to equestrians and I think their product is fantastic for riders. Um, so this is it, it's a belt and it's stretchy, I was trying to find something to compare it to, but it's like suspenders or something, I don't know. Um, but it's stretchy and I love, love, love the color that it came in and I got to pick my color, but the belt, like the, 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 the two major things about this that I love are that first of all, it's stretchy. So it, it kind of clamps down around your pants. So you don't have that awkward, like gap behind. I don't know if anybody else gets that. Um, but so it's stretchy and then the belt, whatever this is called, latch thing. I don't know. Um. My camera just died, so let's try this one more time. Um, all right, where was I? So we were talking about this. So the two main things that I love about this are that it's stretchy, like I talked about, I'm pretty sure before my camera died, and the fact that the belt buckle lays flat. It's not even like a buckle, it's kind of like a latch. So it just like goes through and there we go, <laughs> and lays flat like that. So then when you're riding, it doesn't dig in. Uh, it's super flat, like it doesn't show through your shirts. It's just super low key, and I love it. But at the same time, it's really nice looking. I love it, personally. Um, but again, I will put that discount code in the description below so you guys can use it and enjoy it like I do. Okay. So, my last and kind of first real unboxing. So I will say I opened this and I just looked in it and I was so excited that I had to wait and open it all on camera. So this is from Sport Horse Essentials and it's a big box. It's like, oh god, it's really heavy. But I'm also really weak. Um, so this is from Sport Horse Essentials, which you might have seen on a couple accounts on Instagram. If you follow them, I know a couple other accounts are sponsored by them. Um, so this, what I really love about this, first of all, is that I've heard fantastic reviews about it but also that it's um, all, it's made with 100% um, essential oils and all natural remedies, which I am a huge user of essential oils. Um, so this is their logo. I don't know if you guys can even see that. I'm like sitting in front of a window, so it's kind of bright. Um, but I got a bunch of, what are these called? Business cards. I read the card earlier. Um, but, so that's as far as I got. I haven't opened up this stuff yet. <gasps> Y'all know how much I love hats. Actually, I have this really <laughs> disgusting, like, I don't even know what it is. It's like my skin is like burnt from wearing hats so much. You can't really see it because I covered it, but it's bad. But I love hats. So there is a white and a black one. 
perfect because I can use the white outside of the barn and the black in the barn because we all know how nasty I am in the barn. <laughs> um, I really like their logo. It's really cool. Um, ooh, if this is what I think it is, I'm going to work with both. Ooh. Oh, God, it smells so good. So these are patches that I can put on my show backpack and stuff and stickers. I love me some stickers, y'all. Okay, here's the good stuff. So let's see. Bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. This is doo -doo -doo -doo, fly spray. Let's see how this smells. I'm really excited about this. I use a lot of fly spray. Ooh, I got it on my face. That smells really good. It smells like um. Witch hazel. I think that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, I know the essential oils really well. Um, oh, I'm excited. I'm going to ride Elliot on Thursday, and I'm going to use this. Because, like, they have an automatic fly spray system in their barn, but um, I like to spray him anyway when I go out to ride. Because he's a very sensitive dude. Coat spray. I'm, this is perfect. I just ran out of my other coat spray, and it's really expensive, so I wasn't sure I wanted to get more of it. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. I'm going to smell this one, too. And I really like their... This is like super low key, but or like super not important really. But I really like their packaging. Oh, that smells so good! Oh my god, Elliot's gonna smell like heaven. Um, but yeah, their packaging is so cute. I love the colors and everything. Oh, spray nozzles. <laughs> um, there's so much stuff in here. I love it. What is this? Fungus. I think this says. Un momento, por favor. Okay. Fungus blend. I'm going to use this on um, Foxy because he gets that like fungus stuff on his legs that white horses can get um, from the flies and the rain and all that. It's not rain rot. It's um, mm -hmm. I'll call it back. Um, whatever I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Uh, scratches? Oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'll use that on there. This is, ooh, is that another hair tie thing? <gasps> These companies know what I like. <laughs> That's a little freaky. Anyways, um, what is this? Bubble wrap. More fly spray. Oh my god, y'all, they are hooking me up. Who's trying to text me now? Okay, sorry. I asked my, my friends for opinion on a bridal, and they're all like, ooh. Okay, what's this one? More coat spray. I'm literally, <gasps> tell me it isn't. Ooh, I see another hair tie. Why am I so excited about hair ties? Probably because I have all this. Oh my gosh. It's hoof oil. Y'all, this is awesome. Wait, I'm going to smell this one too. I'm trying not to get all of my bed. Oh my gosh. Dude, Elliot's going to be smelling so good, especially like at Congress, because the barn that we're in, we're in um, South Gilligan, and I've heard stories that it smells like pee. So my horse is going to be smelling good. So you guys will be seeing this on my Instagram a lot, um, because I'm definitely going to be using this non-greasy formula. I love this stuff. So let me read you guys this. It says... Our mission is to provide the finest equine athletes natural, what? Like I said before in my other video, I'm, I can't see out of this eye, so reading is not fun without my glasses. Our mission is to provide the finest equine athletes natural and approved products that, can, that enhance, protect, and improve various skin conditions and fulfill basic equine health needs. All products in the Sport Horse Essential line contain no ingredients that are featured on the banned substance list for both the USEF and FEI federations. If anyone was curious about that, but like natural oils, natural essential oils are fantastic and not banned or anything like that. Um, and their website, I will put it in the description below, but it is sporthorseessentials.com. I will also put their Instagram in the uh, description so you guys can check that out. I'm about to take a picture of all this stuff and post it on the gram. So obviously that will be up before this video, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm probably going to wear one of these hats to work. Um, 
But yeah, so now you guys are all up to date, and I've got a couple more things coming in for Congress prep, and I'm going to start doing all the dreaded packing. I actually, my Elliot's fake tail is in my shower right now, because I need to wash it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start doing all that stuff, and I will try to record the process and what we're doing. And this upcoming week, I'm riding Elliot Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but it's all with my trainer. And so I don't want to, I'm not probably not going to vlog that. Um, but yeah, I will try to keep you guys up to date on everything. And thank you for all the well wishes as we head to Congress. I believe today marks 15 days out, so I'm starting to get really nervous. And I, I looked at my show schedule, uh, which you can find that on my Instagram if you're curious. And I already messed up my show schedule. I found out that I show two classes in one day, and I'm already freaking out. <laughs> but anyways, I'll try to continue doing this Congress Chronicles thing. Let me, go, let me know in the comments below if you like the idea of this video, if you want to see certain things as we get prepped. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.